folks, Clarice and Dylan here with Three Iron Sourcing Cattle Co. Welcome to another episode of Sink Horsemen. Today we're going to talk about changing eyes. We, we mentioned it earlier on in the round pen and we decided to dedicate a video just to it because we find it very important, especially with young and green horses that have relatively not been handled or just handled on one side mainly. And it's kind of a concept that a lot of people really don't, maybe don't think about or don't know about. So just to elaborate a little bit more about what changing eyes is, the way a horse's eyes are situated on their skull, they're on each side. And so a horse has a blind spot right in the middle of their nose. They can see things far away, but the closer you get, um, the more you're going to be in that blind spot. And then they have a blind spot directly behind their ears where you sit, for instance, where you sit in the saddle. So um, a lot of horses will be uncomfortable um, whenever an object passes in one eye and then will disappear in the blind spot and then reappear in the other eye. So you actually do that whenever you're riding. You know, if you ride off to the right, you tip their head to the right and the horse will see you out of their right eye. And then whenever you go to change directions and go off to the left, you in the saddle will pass into that blind spot <coughs> and then reappear in their left eye. And it can make a lot of horses really uncomfortable. Um, like Dylan said, a lot of green horses usually are horses that haven't been handled a lot, um, will, be, will be maybe more one-sided. Um, tend to handle their horses a lot from, from the left side. You put the halter on from the left, you bridle from the left, you get on from the left. Um, you do a lot of things from the left. And usually that side is the stronger side. Um, and they're really good out of that left eye, but can be kind of weak and uh, uncomfortable out of that right eye. So it's really important to get them okay with objects or you um, appearing in one eye, disappearing in a blind spot, and then appearing again in the opposite eye. For instance, we got a horse in for training one time who was, who was clearly had this issue. He was real good on his left eye. And we didn't start this horse. And he was really stiff on his right side and um, clearly wanted to keep you on the left eye when you walked around him, when he was tied up and things like that. And we used these exercises to get better about these things. But he would, when you added speed, he would want to uh, run off with you. Not because he was mean, he could saddle him up and get on him. He was gentle, he didn't want to do anything on purpose. But he was clearly fearful of you passing to that right eye because he was not handled as much on that side. And this, and this topic wasn't addressed with him. Yeah. So these are the exercises we use to help him with, with that problem. So we hope you enjoy. Okay guys, first step here in the round pen is really just to check your horse out and see how well you can walk back and forth in front of them from one eye to the other. It kind of gives you an idea of um, which side's better than the other because just like us they have one side of their body a little stronger than the other. The next step here as you can see I'm going to push her against the rail on her left eye and force her to change and she just, she just doesn't know what we're asking her of her yet. I'm going to force her to change to her right eye or try to here. This is kind of how what you need to make look better here. There she came out on one side See how she was speedy? Ideally, that horse would stay calm through that transition and then hook right back onto you, which you did a really good job there. Hmm. Next, whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So again, as she comes and hooks back onto me here, I'm going to push on her right eye. Here in a second. Okay, I'm going to push on her right eye here and try to have her come out on her left. Again, she's not sure what we're asking yet, but there she goes. That's how it should look. She stayed calm through there and came right back to me and hooked on. The next step I do on the ground here, once my horse is pretty gentle and saddle broke and I can get ropes on their backs and their butts and things, I'll add some flexion on one eye, have them bend, bend around, and kind of find their way around and change eyes on their own. The key here is they have to search and find that themselves. So if you have to hang out, you just hang out and let them figure things out. So again, whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. Put a little pressure, let him figure this out. Have him come through here and put me on his other eye. There he goes. Again, you have to have a horse pretty gentle with things around their butt and things before you attempt this. 
this horse does a very good job of this stuff. I've done it with him several times. But I'll apply a little pressure, let him search, find it, and then he changes his eyes there. You're also working on some uh, lateral flexion here. So if you have a real stiff force laterally, you probably need to get him better about lateral flexion before you really attempt this. The next step for us in the changing eyes here is kind of walking a circle around us, kind of a united circle. You can see me driving with my flag here. In a second I will change hands and have him come across the front and change eyes right there. So he should do that just like he did, calm and relaxed when he changed eyes and not, was not bothered at all. This is kind of the first step of our kind of groundwork in the halter. There, changed eyes again. No problem. And he stays relaxed. You can see his demeanor is really calm. Means he's good about changing eyes there. This is also a good warm up exercise if you have a horse that's feeling kind of fresh. The next step is that same exercise where we're going to have him change eyes back and forth, but we, we add some movement to it. We try to walk a straight line, have him change eyes. You can see he was a little bothered by it at that time there. Switch hands with my rope and my flag, have him change eyes, and send him around. As you can see, I'm always walking forward and adding a little bit more energy to it. That's the key. It's how well they can handle it as you build energy as well. Again, change hands, change eyes, very well. He was not bothered by that at all. Some horses will get a little bothered when you add energy, but he did very well there.